Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Kay Marie. Uh, this is my first, I'm going to kind of use this as my podcast platform that I'm going to be launching in the near future. So I'm going to use this audio to kind of start it off, you know. Um, I just want to introduce myself. And I have here, my name is Kay. And I have with me here is Adonia. She's from in Pasadena, California. And she just, you know, she honored me by coming on my show and I appreciate that. But let me stop and let you know, let you uh, know who I am. I am a photographer. I start been doing photography since 2006. Uh, I photograph kids, families, fashion. I do headshots. I mean, the whole weddings and engagement, maternity. I just love photography. Um, and also, I am a singer. I sing karaoke. I also perform at different venues in the St. Louis area. And also, I like to paint. I, I mean, I like to paint and I also like poetry writing and creating my own music and stuff like that. I just love everything about art. That's the reason why I, <laughs> I brought in Miss Adonia, because she's also an art lover. Could you tell them about you, uh, a little bit about yourself, uh, Adonia? I am a visual artist, painter. I am a decorated designer as well, and educator. So anything in the arts room, I've done it pretty much and still working on that. So we got singing, songwriting, play a little bit of music, just all around creative person. Mm -hmm. I have the online magazine, Expose Art 2000, and we got a podcast, Artistic Art Journeys. So this is all about the artist journeys. And I work and uh, help develop other artists as well mm -hmm. to help them get comfortable getting into their um, genres of work. And I've had blessings to work with many, many fabulous musicians, artists, creatives. So excited. Yeah, you mentioned um, magazines. I just thought about that. You know, as a photographer, uh, I started my own magazine years ago. It's called Indigo, oh, wow. Indigo Flare. I okay. have like six editions out there with all my artwork on it in it, and also I have other photographers that kind of use some of their their work, and they were able to be published in my magazine. And I also been published with probably over twenty different magazines, you know, since I've been doing photography. So you know, uh, you just kind of reminded me of that when uh, you mentioned uh, you got to tell a story, otherwise they yeah. don't know. You got to tell yeah. the story, so and it's good because. Um, this magazine, I decided to create it like a almanac, which is by by maybe by yearly, but mainly information on the artists on their, their with their bios and their art journey. Mm -hmm. So um, I suspected to be out by May, mm -hmm. and I still have a few slots open to write about creatives that I think are worthy for me to talk about. You know, so I just mainly put artists and people that I meet on the road of life and I share what they do. Mm -hmm. And right I now, it's so beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yes. So how many pieces you think you have painted <laughs> over the years? How long have you been doing painting? Oh, you just, <laughs> you know, I started as a child and then actually, 1990, I would probably say in 1990, I made a decision to be a professional painter, even though I was, before I was painting, I was a fashion designer. I was doing fashion designs, mm -hmm. well, window display, and window displays as well. Mm -hmm. And um, That was fun, and the window displays, you know. It that's was. Pretty, that's pretty awesome. It's it kind of, your, your journey is kind of like mine's because when I was uh, in high school, mm -hmm. I used to do a lot of fashion designing also. <laughs> yeah, and I actually, before I went to college, that's what I wanted to become was a fashion designer. But of course, um, you you know, you start working and you got bills to pay and 
I worked for a company that was like, we don't have fashion designing at this company. So you have to get something that we can use. So I ended up getting a business degree, but, you know, I did minor. I took some art classes, um, you know, as my minor. And so I still kept that, always had it in the back of my head. And um, like I said, I've been probably painting. I actually took some uh, figure drawing and painting and uh, when I was in college. So it was a lot of fun, too. Yeah. You know, life is funny. I actually wanted to do fashion design. Um, I did do it, actually. Um my mother would sew. She was a seamstress as well. And she enjoyed fixing, decorating the house and, you know, sewing curtains and designing them, painting the walls, mm -hmm. uh, color matching the themes and painting for relatives and friends. And we'd always go to the fabric store and then I would sew my own clothes. I remember before you did the denim jean jackets, you know, you cut them up into patchwork. That was the first time someone recognized this, this young lady. She said, oh, did you do this? She said, yeah. She said, oh, you're going to be really good. And um, and she was right. <laughs> I did get to, um. You told me that you used to um, used to have your clothes, make them, and sell them, or something like that. Did you? And you yes, I, I did. I, I I did. I met um, young man out here in Pasadena. He had a store, and I approached him and uh, asked him about selling my fashions, and he did. And actually, we're still working together over 30 years. The difference, though, I stopped designing clothes, Evolve, and um, I couldn't find anybody to mass produce my garments. Plus, I was uh, married. I was, getting, I was going through divorce at that time. And I had two children then. And um, actually, I did lots of fashion shows with him because his dad was a musician, Jimmy Owens Trio musician, and... They had a three-piece band, so he was helping his father with the band, and they would do shows at the clubs in in, in all over California. And so I remember um, after I approached him to do the fashion because they had the store as well. He was doing fashion shows in the clubs with the band. They would perform, got models and everything. So I I would uh, model and um, create the art, the fashion shows as well. Create them. Mm -hmm. And get them, um, you know, the outfits match the shoes up and the clothing and everything. And I was not the only designer. I think he had about four more design designers, mm -hmm. models. And he would. It was really wonderful because he would rent the limousine, mm -hmm. and the limousine would drive on the state, uh, drive up near to the uh, park. We had outdoor uh, fashion shows as well. And we get out the limousine and walk up to the stage and get on stage and model those some of the outdoor shows. Then we did something in the club as well. Man, and you remind me when I was um, <laughs> in my twenties, and I used to, this guy. He was a fashion designer, and of course, when you're young, you know, I was small and thought I was cute, whatever. But um, he asked me to model for his clothing line, and we um, in St. Louis is an area that's um, they have really beautiful old homes. It's kind of like right there by where where they used to have the the world's fur back in the 1900s, and these homes are like huge, okay, and they're historic. So we had a, a fashion show at his at this person's house, and their backyard. They had a huge backyard with a a deck that was like kind of went out into the yard, and so we did a I had on this blue, this beautiful cobalt blue silk dress, and it had like sleeves that go, you know, it was in the back of it was where you could see your back and it's a short skirt. It was kind of, kind of made out of this, the real silky kind of fabric. And mm. I just felt, uh, and he had pearls going down my back. Oh, it sounds beautiful. Oh my God. It was so beautiful. It was so much fun. So when you say about that, those fashion <laughs> shows when you were outdoors, that just kind of took me back down memory lane. And when I was younger and I did that, that was so much fun. And yeah, you know, I, I designed my wedding dress actually when I did get married uh, back then. Oh, that was a long time ago, in the eighties. And um, my, the the um, bridesmaids, I had, it was a huge, big wedding, and, but they they had their their. Um, I designed what I wanted them to wear, and uh, the veils, the headpiece, because I was designing, you know. And my mother, uh, she designed her evening dress for the evening, and it was beautiful mm -hmm. um, satin. Aqua blue, turquoise. Oh, yeah. And it had that Good. rhinestone, like a, it had a diamond effect collar going all around the neck. 
Mm-hmm. Like it was called actually a caftan. It was called a caftan. That's mm-hmm. what she wore. And the and the she had like four inch cuffs of a uh, like diamond, um, uh, rhinestone collar uh, sleeves on each, mm-hmm. each. It was beautiful. Actually, my my sister uh, put it in a fashion show as well, and she won I think second place on that. I won. I think I won third place on uh in one of the shows in, that I did. That was back in my college days. And so when I got divorced, I took that dress and I, I, <laughs> I donated to the college. <laughs> oh. You remember that song called Caribbean, uh, Caribbean, Caribbean Queen? I think that's mm-hmm. the name of it. Yes. And oh. every time I hear that song, because I remember I was in a fashion show at a hotel one time. Mm-hmm. And we was in this group called Junta, you know, so we always did all kind of different events and stuff. I was singing and dancing in this organization called Junta. And mm-hmm. He said, Kim, I, the guy, the same guy, he wanted me, he had, he was displayed so we can do a fashion show for him. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, he did a fashion show for us. And uh, I had this big old hat. I mean, this hat was so big. It was probably at least, what, four feet wide. Mm-hmm. And I had to hold it like with my hands and it kept flopping and flopping like this. Wow. And we were, we were modeling to that song. So every time I hear that song, I think about that event going across the and just like the, the head just flopping, you know, it was pretty cool. But he was he was very creative. I wonder what ever happened to him. Uh, I can't even remember his name. I was trying to remember the name was sitting here, but he was he was this is back in like um the eighties, early nineties, maybe. You oh, know, so yeah, that's about the same time. Same fun. time when I was doing things. And it's so funny. My sister introduced me to the uh the modeling world actually because she she was doing uh fashion um modeling i can't from, remember exactly for who she liked all she liked that stuff i really wasn't in, i was more back designing and like I, I i enjoyed writing and reading so i was doing a lot of that but when she introduced me to the fashion because you have that lot of patience what i realized you have that patience to do art period and so if you're going to do art it might as well be something you enjoy that's right. I liked I liked the fashion sewing. I didn't I like designing. I wasn't too keen on the fashions. I mean, um, sewing the seamstress aspect of it. Okay, mm-hmm. but my mom encouraged me to no. You have to do it this way. And I'm like, if I got to sew this thing two or three times, it's not going to work. I'm just going. Yeah, do it. I took some I'm going to find classes a- in high school. I'm going to find a, I want to go into that field too. I'm going to find a better way to just get this sewn anyway. But she had the pink and shears because you have to double stitch it or interlock it with the interlock machine, you know, mm-hmm. uh, zigzagging and all this kinds of stuff. And that just, it just took, it was just like, I had to have patience for this. And they were, my mom was, uh, she did um, cosmetology too as well. So they, my sister and her, they followed the cosmetology field. They kept doing that yeah. along with working, you know, working government jobs as well. Like you said, you got to, you got families to take care of. So you, Girl, we're, we're so similar. My sister's, you know, my sister's a cosmetologist. Oh no, I don't know. I trade for years and then she um uh, she retired though because you know it was affecting her lungs and she retired in her 50s. But ever since she was like, I think she's like 18 oh, years old, yeah. she was doing hair and she was very, very, very successful with it. I mean, she made good money at her. She bought her first house when she was 25 mm-hmm. years old. <laughs> so God was good. It just uh um, oh, wow, she kind of got out of the field. <laughs> What'd you say? My, my my sister as well. She she um they opened up a uh, actually I have a video on YouTube of the store. They opened up the salon and the store, beauty supply store. That's mm-hmm. what she has. It's been a long journey, but she uh, closed that and she's moved on doing other things. And um, what I enjoyed about fashion, oh my God, it's so many stories to tell. We're not going to get into them all today. But the main one, I remember when I was fashion modeling, Queensway was a gentleman I met and he uh, hired me to model with him. And he would have the girls go on stage. We'd walk on the stage in our little swimsuit and he would make evening wear while we stood there. And design our garments. That was the coolest thing. So mm-hmm. I have a show that I'm going to be doing. I was invited to do a show recently. And um, some of my designs that are abstracts, I'm going to put them on fabric. And my goal is to do some of my uh, casual wear um, flowing, like evening, kind of a semi-casual 
evening wear. Power that's off. What, that's what that's what I'm going to do. I want to ask you. So, what inspired you to design clothing? What inspired me to design clothes? Well, I'm from the Big Easy. Big Easy in Louisiana. From New Orleans. New Orleans. Yeah, and they, and they dress they dressed up a, a lot. They dressed yeah, up. Yeah, they had, yeah, a, they had the big events. Yeah, they have the events and um mm -hmm. the culture, you know, there that I remember. Because my grandpa, my grandpa would wear his little fedora hats, you know, fedora hats, and he would wear Stacey Adams shoes. And he always dressed to the nine. So, you know, my mom as well. And um, that's all that, that's what they did. And what I didn't need for nothing, whether they bought it or recreated it. And that's how we did, that's what we did. And my sister used to make the most beautiful tailor made suits. She loved it. She, she would make them tailor made suits. I'm not doing them suits because it took too long and I had to sit still. And I couldn't sit still. <laughs> Remember, uh, I like to dance. I would dance and do other stuff. I can do that. Do you remember that movie, <laughs> Funny Face? Funny Face? With Audrey Hartburn. That, oh, that's when, a I, when I was a kid, I saw that because I was into musicals. You know, it's probably why I like to sing. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I saw her in a movie called Funny Face. And she was a model in Paris. Yeah, and I think I that remember really that. That really drew me to not only fashion design, but photography, because she fell in love with a photographer that was kind of doing an <laughs> a, a editorial of her. Yeah. And uh, that's that's my story and why I'm so, you know, when I saw that, it was, it just blew me away. <laughs> and I, from this moment, I still love that musical. It's called Funny Face. So you're going to get a chance to see that. I think it, you said it was Audrey Hepburn. Yeah, it was funny face with her. And she had, I, I think she's wearing all black because she got this black hat on. I think there's a black hat and it's side cock sideways. And, and she wears that garment. But you know what? Are so you thinking about breakfast at Tiffany? No. Maybe that was. I'm, I'm thinking about, you got to, it's called. Uh, I, I would know it when I see it. It's been such a long time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? She I went to Paris. Him. And you appreciate that. that. You appreciate it because yeah. you would see. The editorial, how they did those magazines, you know, like she was in a, a flower shop and she had a flower dress and she had all these flowers in her arms. And he said, take the picture. So she had all these flowers and she had a hat on her head and she went like this. It was just so beautiful. Yeah, I, I was think, like, oh my God, I love that picture. Yeah, I think I might have seen it. It's just been a long time. And I like a lot of black and white movies with the, with the um, fashion. I don't think this was, this you, know, Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn, you know, Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn, you know, Marilyn Monroe, um, Mm -hmm. Audrey Hepburn, Going with the Wind, the you know the styles, the fashion, the clothes, even all the way back to the Egyptian styles. Each era have their yes. clothing style, and you learn that. And as an artist, and you study and, and knowing different cultures, mm -hmm. and see Louisiana too was a mixing, cult, melting, a melting pot of different cultures. You know, right? You got yes. the French and the Germans, and you have, you know, Africa, and uh, you have the Jamaicans, and everybody coming across that you know the, the border over there so the caribbean has come everybody's traveling from that mixed you know rich cultures that they have there so it's all intertwined and um even the aesthetics of the buildings i love the rod iron designs on the buildings going down uh what is it uh, um when I was a kid, I just remember going to Maison Blanc, which was one of the shopping stores, and they had Swagmans. Some of these stores don't even exist anymore. They're not there. No. I, those no. are just what I remember. And um, we, the Falstaff building was a building they used to make the uh, the brewery. My grandfather lived near the brewery, and then they had a club. He lived, The club was on the other side of the brewery, and um it was a homeowner as well. So it's really close-knit community then. But we le I left there. Um, New Orleans with my mom came to California and you know we just kept designing we bought our skills with us you know I'm thinking about like I was trying to think back when did I really started acting out my modeling I, I just remember when I was just as, I was still in high school and my sister we all went to Chicago my family my dad took us to Chicago and it was me my sister and my brother and my younger sister so we're going down, you know, Michigan Avenue, what do you call it, Michigan, the mile, whatever. And um, it's telling me we run out of time. So 
Just to make long story short, you know, my sister's taking a camera and I was a fashion model and we just shooting. <laughs> That's good. See, and my mom wanted to do photography. And so my, she was going to turn the bathroom into the dark room. I remember saying that, and me and my brother, it's, it was, it's, it's, I have a large family, but two of us, I remember we did photography. So I still do that. Um, we just like to, I don't know, we're seers, you know, see things and create things and use your hands. So what else can I say? Well, it looks yeah. like we're running out of time. So we're um, fine though. This has been great. Yeah. We got about 10 more minutes. So I just want to, um, this is, you know, get together and just let everybody know that, uh, we're going to be doing this more often where we're going to sit and talk about art. So if you love art, you love fashion, you love music, this is the place to be. And we'll tell you about our stories and, you know, two women talking and having a good time. So again, guys, thank you so much for coming. And next time we'll show you a little bit more about ourselves. Yeah, you got a little piece. And thank you again, Ardonia, for coming through and, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm uh, gonna, the art I'm gonna, with me. I'm, I'm going to close with a little piece. I know. Um, okay. You got about uh, eight minutes. Okay. You could, uh, let me see. This is a piece I wrote. The door. You know what? I, before you start, let me show people. Like I said, I was a painter. It shouldn't take no okay. more than a few seconds to do this. So I'm go ahead and do what you got to get yours up, um, Ardonia. So let me go and see if I can find my the artwork I'm going to do. Go ahead. Okay, here it is. So. I'm going to share my, let me see if I can share my screen. Hold on. No, this is not what I'm, okay. So what do you have? You Were you going to check on something, Ardonia? No, I was just going to, I could speak. It's, it's only half a, a minute or so. It's just a short. I can't piece. hear you. Can you hear me? Hello? I think it's muted for someone we can't hear each other now. I can hear can you. you. Hear me? Mm -hmm. I can't hear you at all. <laughs> wow, that's strange. Well, let anyway, me go and see if I can find this video. It's a short piece. And are you, can you hear me? Hello, hello. It's not muted. It's not muted. Anyway, it says like the door slammed, yet it was wide open, open with a book filled with wounded metaphors and abstract tears, no shield to protect. It was there. And you'll hear more next time. Can you hear me? I don't know how that's going to record, though. Well, I don't see, I don't see your picture. I'm going to chat. Well, Adonia, like I said, it's been a great, I'm not going to be able to share the uh, oh. video today. We can probably do it next time. Uh, for some reason, I don't know. I, I, okay. I don't have your sound anymore. Oh, okay. Okay. Can't well, that's you. okay. We'll do it next happens. time. So we'll tell but, everybody uh, bye. Again, ladies, thank you so much. And thank you, Adonia, for coming through. It's been a blast. All right. My picture. Hello everyone. Uh, let me. I'm, I'm gonna take that one. Recording in progress. Hello everybody. Welcome back. I'm here again with Miss Adonia. You know, um, so uh, our timer was cut off, so we had to restart it again. So, and we're back. Um, so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna kind of show you guys. You know, like I said, I am a painter, and I'm an abstract painter. So I want to kind of show you guys my work. Um, it's going to take a, maybe a couple of minutes, so uh, stay tuned. Here it is right here. Let me share the screen. We're going to share. Oh, I didn't want to go back basic. I'm going to share the screen. Share. All right, so here we go. I'm going to play my, this is my artwork.
Make your screen larger. At the bottom, right here, at the bottom. enjoy that yeah, <laughs> uh, like I said I am a abstract painter most of my medi medium is uh you know acrylic paints inks uh, all kinds of different crayons whatever chalk I just do whatever I can and, and put it on the canvas you know whatever I feel that's how I express myself and a little bit of digital art that's on top of it some some of the pieces so I hope you like it if you're interested in uh, purchasing some of my prints you can always contact me through the email which is uh, kartcreations at gmail.com uh, my prints uh, you can either buy the original art piece or you can get them in print form which is at any size from uh, 11 by 14 up to a 32 by 30 whatever you know for your <laughs> wall so if you're interested just give me a just send me an email and say hey I'm interested in purchasing you know some of your pieces and I will be glad to do it for you Wonderful. beautiful work beautiful work you like it I don't of you? course i love it i love abstract <laughs> yes 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 so, yes I but love you, you also have beautiful pieces do you have any artwork you want to show uh, let, to the uh, let, audience let me see if i can oh pull up something i had you know what right now let's see da -da -da -da. It said, uh, host, you gotta disable the sharing. Okay, let me go and see if I can. Let's see if we can let you do that. All participants, there you go. Try to see if you can do it now. Let's see, let's see where it's at. In my files, okay. Um, this has been a great opportunity to meet people and to share what we do and share all the fun stuff so here is and guys you can also go to my website a lot of those pictures that i um post on the video you can see them on my website which is perfecta photography at uh dot com that's p-e-r-f-e-c-t-i-v-e photography dot com 
And also, don't forget to put the www in front. <laughs> okay. You know, I might sing a song today. You know, like we said, we are we are artists of the the you know music artists, so we can. I know you have a song for me today too, Adonia, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I got something. Let me go back get out of this. Is that going to close up? Okay, there it is. Okay, so let me go to where are you at? There you are. Let me go to a screen, share the screen. Okay, can you see that? I can't hear. Yes, you. we can see it. We can see it. Okay, so this is a little sneak preview of the without painting without done yet. Right here. I'm sure you can do it. So here we go. Here we go. Let's get started. Webinar painting without done yet. It's an abstract painting session. You can do it. I believe you can do it. You're able and ready to do it. You can do it. If you, if you need your this is definitely for you. Join us and create the art you love. Join us and create the art you love. Join us and And so that's that's it. That was um just a little snippet of the online class on Patreon. So they want to find out more, they can have over to Painting with Adonia Patreon and check it out. We also find Art America and Kay should be um, sharing her Fine Art America page coming soon as well. So you can get your our, our artwork that you like on mugs, on t-shirts, home decor, and uh, customized art as well, and the photography that she does, and writing. So any creative thing you guys need, we got you covered. So, you know, just check us out. Go look for it. Right. Watch it on YouTube, right? And they got the K Unique Live with Lucinda. Um, what day is that show? What day is that your show? Tell them about the, that show. Oh, we have a sh um, You know, I have a show called live with k unique and that's i have moved it i used to be having it on on one on mondays but now it's moved to wednesday nights at seven o'clock p.m central um the next show is scheduled uh in a couple of weeks it's not going to be next wednesday but the week after um i don't have the date in front of me but uh let me see if i can get the date the right date for that show and miss adonia will be one of my guests there and she's going to be performing on that show so it's going to be april the 13th no, i'm sorry the 12th the 12th of, is, I'm, I'm gonna send out a, um if you go to my facebook page um you should be able to um see the advertisement for it and it's under um k unique the voice if you go to facebook you'll be able to see me there and also i want to show you guys my website you can always go to my website and it's going to have upcoming events. So let me go ahead and it's called kunique.com, kunique.thevoice.com. So let me pull it up. And I will share it with you guys. Let me go here. Mm -hmm. Oh, wonderful um, opportunity to share all the creatives and our collaborating partners in the arts. So this is wonderful. This is our first, guys, so this is cool. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'm having, t for some reason, not, not being able to pull it up. But let me kind of show you, share my screen with you to show you what it looks like. 
um, the website is having difficulties here but I'm going to share my screen share so if this is my uh, website here is K unique the voice and of course you know it has a video of my performances uh, throughout the st. Louis area also it gives a little bio about me and places I've sung at and you know my history a little bit and the different shows I have which is live with K unique and then two women and a mic and and I also have you sing which is on uh, the third Thursday of the month um, yeah and then these are I just did a tribute um, show to Tina Turner and I don't know what that is so it's, it's still it's in the it's in the making I also provide uh, if you want to buy a t-shirt I do offer t-shirts for K unique okay so what else do you have miss uh, Adonia do you want to share your page yeah I'm trying to um, which one the arts for them let me see. Is that sharing? Uh, I'm not saying anything. Good. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so what are we going to do now? We're sharing our songs. Are we sharing poetry? Um, well, I want to do a song. So what I'm going to do is my. Uh, it's called. Um, let me know if you can hear the music. I can, okay, not yet. I can, so you know. So hopefully it's not too loud. Okay. Let me know if you can hear the music. You can hear it. I'm holding on your rope, got me 10 feet off the ground. I'm hearing what you say, but I can't make a sound you tell me that you need me then you go and cut me down but wait tell me that you're sorry didn't think I turned around and say that it's too late to apologize it's too late I said it's too late to apologize it's too late oh, oh, oh yeah oh I take another chance take a fall take a shot for you mm -hmm. I need you like a heart need a beat but nothing new Oh, I love you like the fire red Now it's turning blue And you say Sorry like an angel Haven't had me think of you But I'm not afraid It's too late to apologize It's too late It's too late to apologize it's too late whoa, whoa.
I said it's too late to apologize. It's too late. I said it's too late to apologize. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's too late to apologize. Yeah. I'm holding on the road, got me ten feet off the ground. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Unmute yourself. <laughs> Unmute yourself. That was right. very nice. That was very nice. To say. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. What you got for us, Miss Lady? I'm going to do a little old rendition of Summertime. Let's try that one. Billy Holiday and Ella Fitzgerald, they did this one. This is a favorite of mine. Let's go back up that is Summertime and the living is easy. Fish are jumping and the cotton is high. Your daddy's ring And your mom is good looking So hush, little baby Baby, don't you cry One of these mornings, you're going to rise up singing. Then you'll spread your wings, and you'll take to the sky. Summertime. You know, I love summertime. I love that sum summertime. You know, uh, Dr. Baby, just leave. I think I, I remember uh, the version that, that I remember summertime is from Ella when she did summertime. Yeah, yeah that was yeah, a, yours, I think yours was Billy Holiday, wasn't it? It was a blend of both of them. It was a blend of both of them. <laughs> yeah, Ella you know, and, I might do one more song. Yeah, I got it. I'm in the mood for one more song, and then you can probably follow me after that. But, um, I like the song. Okay. Uh, I think it's. Let me get it right. I think it's "Tenderly" by uh, Servon. Oh yeah, Servon, beautiful, beautiful yes. voice. Classic, that's, classic. That's a classic one. So I'm gonna try that one for you, okay? Okay. Okay. Here we go. We got to do this more often. <laughs> it's fine. the trees 
tenderly The trembling tree Embrace the breeze Tenderly Then you and I Came wandering by And who lost in a sigh The shore was kissed by sea and mist tenderly. I can forget how two hearts met breathlessly. Your arms open wide and close me inside. You took my lips, you took my love so tenderly. You took my Love. You took my heart so tenderly. There you go. <laughs> that was very nice. Thank you, thank you. Real nice mood, Jazz. You you put me in the mood when you did that summertime. I never do tenderly. <laughs> <laughs> I know you got another one for me. Yeah, we, okay. Let's, we, we, we close like, it out after that. That's what I've been working on. You know, I used to sing this back in the day, and I never sang it all the way through, but I used to sing it. It's a favorite of mine. And you're going to like this one as well. So let's uh, let's roll with it. And, you know, y'all can leave a comment if y'all think it's okay, because I'm having the fun, you know, and I eventually we're coming out with our, we're coming out with our new songs that we wrote original songs and music. You're going to have to do that. We're going to have to present some of our original music on here next time. Yes, next time. Okay, so this one is Sade's favorite. Lovely. Sade's original. You're ruling the way that I move. 
and I breathe your air. Only can rescue me. This is my prayer. I cherish the day. Yeah, we got to cherish every day we got. We got to love life. And you got to be true. You got to be authentic and be you. And that's right. We cherish every day. I cherish the day. I won't go astray. I won't be afraid. You won't catch me running. I cherish the day. I won't go astray. I won't be afraid. Won't run away. Yes. Come on with it, guys. Y'all hear that? That bass, that guitar, y'all hear that? Show me how deep love can be. <laughs> That's a <what's> good. <laughs> Show me how deep love can be. This is my prayer. I cherish the day. Won't go astray. Won't be afraid. Won't run away. Won't shy. Cherish the day. Won't go astray. Cherish the day. Cherish the day. <laughs> Cherish the day. <laughs> I'm working with it, girl. <laughs> I see, I see you. <laughs> I cherish the day. Mm -hmm. Pull my guitar, next time. <laughs> I cherish the day. Won't go astray. Won't be afraid. Yeah, smooth, she be doing like this stuff. Right. <laughs> she Last real smooth with her performance. I cherish the day. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Woo! That's a good song. I cherish the day. Is that the name of the song? Yes, that's the name. You know, I was thinking about yeah. doing a tribute to um Charday for my show, Live with K Unique. Oh, that'd be good, girl. I'm thinking about something. doing that one. So maybe I can invite <laughs> you in to sing a Charday song. She let me know. Just you know, let me yeah. know. Yeah, so that, I'm thinking about doing that on the 12th. Okay, I just I was let me know. you know because I was listening to her today. Actually, we got about seven minutes. I was listening to her today. I said, "Hmm, that'd be a good show, Sharday music." You know, you so, gotta be real you know, smooth with her music though. Like, you can't smooth you gotta up, mellow. up. You gotta be real mellow. Like you got that mellow voice, so it's like yeah, you know. my voice can be so powerful sometimes that I gotta kind of bring it down. To kind of, so I don't want to <laughs> overpower the the magic in that in her yeah. music. She's like a whisper. She sings like she's a whisper. whispering, like a yes. Yeah. So I want to make sure that I compliment the the arrangements. So I'm just gonna yeah. narrow down the songs I'm gonna sing, and it'll be nice because you'd like to sing Chardé too, you know. Yes. It'd be nice to sing. That'd be a good little concert. Everybody loves Chardé. They did a wonderful, a wonderful, another wonderful evening with K Unique. Yes. Yeah, this was, this was, and, this was fun. I enjoyed it. And, um, you know, so uh, they like can I said, invite I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to put the audio on the podcast. So I'm start creating that. And, uh, and also I'm going to put this video on my YouTube page. Oh, wonderful. Live with and K they know, so you, so we, it will be on there. And if you want me to share do, it with you, I can share it on with you too. Yes. The video. So you can do that. Share page. it with me, and I'll share it. 
And we know we do not own the rights to this song. We do music. not own the rights to this covering. music at all, but uh, we love to sing it and we love to share it with the, our audience. Yes, you know, and, I've, and Kay has an amazing song you guys have been working on. I heard it. I can't wait to share it. I have three songs that I did three years ago. I'm revisiting those songs. Yes. And I'm going to yes. share them with you. Mm -hmm. And then also you can catch uh, so on SoundCloud, I think Kay's putting her music I'm up getting this that week. all set up? Yes, and definitely. It's, it's so going to be a fun journey, a fun Music journey. and songs. Yes. 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 Just excited. Yeah. Well, okay, guys, so again, thank you so much good? for joining us. And mm -hmm. I will see you. We're, we're going to have to set a date. Uh, we still, this is kind of like something we just decided to do. Well, well, we need to have a planned day of when you guys can expect to hear from us again. So uh, please go to my YouTube page or go to my website page or Facebook page. I'm going to have all the details on there. All right. Well, have a great day and thanks again. Bye.